In this video, we will see how to graph parabolas. Here we have been given vertex and focus point and we need to graph the parabola and also write the equation. So there is no calculator or direct method in this. You need to analyze what's given. You need to deduce which orientation the graph is and then you need to solve it up. First, let's look at this vertexes H and K. Focus point over here, the X and Y values are given 0 and 4. So now I will have a brief understanding that 0 and 1 is over here. This is the vertex and the focus will be inside the parabola. It's 0, 4. So it's over here. So the parabola is something like this. But what if there is one, two options which will be something like this? Which one is the correct answer? It's very hard to deduce, right? We need to know the A value. How would we find the A value? It's from the focus. We know the focus Y value is given 4. This X value will be same as the vertex. That is H is equal to H. But what about the Y value of the focus? That over here, it's 4, will be equal to, this formula will always be the same if it is vertical orientation. Only for vertical orientation, it is K minus 1 by 4A. Just memorize this. For vertical orientation, directrix is also the same thing, same formula. Now, we it's only focus, so I'll just write this out. And what is the K value? K value is, over here we have, this is H and K, right? So, 4 equals 1 minus 1 by 4. You can put this entirely in the calculator. You'll get the A value directly, but I'll solve it over here. 1 by 4a will be equal to 1 minus 4 and I will have, I'll just swap this out, 1 by 3 will be equal to 4a and it will be 1 by 12 is equal to a. So a value is 1 by 12. Now if I go to the options, I can see over here a value is what? 1 by 12 x squared plus 1. This is the equation. Then you can just, you know, use this and make the table of values and graph. Otherwise, you can easily see it's 1 by 12. So widen up. That is one more thing. Just take one x value over here. Take this as x value of 2. Put 2 over here and the y value should match. Once you get the equation, it's fine. But to get this a value, you need to do the steps. That's the most important thing. So have the equation. Now we will have a squared sorry, a, a x squared plus y. I'll just write the standard form here. y is equal to a into x minus h, the whole squared plus k. Now we found the a value was 1 by 12. What is x minus h? h is 0, so it is x, the whole squared plus k is 1. So that's how we get this equation. So from equation, just you can make a table and graph it or just substitute some x values and easily find out the graph. Now over here, the next problem, we don't have the focus point. We have the directrix. What will you do in this case? This In this case, it's easier because we know the directrix formula, y is equal to y is given. Whenever y is given directrix, the orientation is y is equal to a into x minus h the whole square plus k. This is the thing. If directrix was x, then the standard form would be x is equal to a into y minus k. This would be the formula. The other one we will see in the next problems. Now for this one, let's write the formula. The formula is k minus 1 by 4a. What is this k value? hk from the vertex. They have given that. Now all you do is substitute over here. It will be 8 minus 1 by 4a. That is equal to what? 3. y value is given as 3. So let me take this to the other side and 8 minus 3 equals 1 by 4a positive. And let me, this when you solve it will be 5 is equal to 1 by 4a. Let me take 8 to the other side. It will be 4 times 5, that is 20. It is 1 by 20. So the standard form over here is 1 by 20 into, what is x, h, sorry, x minus, minus 1 the whole square plus k value is 8. That's the answer. So this is how we can easily solve it. You can see the equation over here. That's the correct equation. And all you need to do is graph. Now for the second part here, we have the other orientation that is horizontal orientation. We have like this. Now here the standard form would be x is equal to 
y a into y minus k the whole square plus h this is the standard form you can use the focus formula directrix formula and solve it but it'll be a bit lengthy but since you can see whenever the focus and directrix is given there is a shortcut method but you need to know all the four options so now let's look into the options over here first of all you have been given the focus let's draw a focus point where is it 2 comma 4 is over here and the directrix is at 10 so I will not draw an entire line, I'll just draw somewhere over here. This is the 10 line. And same thing over here, x is minus 6, and where is minus 2, comma 4, it's over here. So that's the line. There is a rule for parabola. If it is a parabola, if you draw a line from the focus, it should be a straight line anyway, then the vertical line to the directrix must have equal distances. So these two distances are equal. So what I can do is I can draw a straight line from focus here and this should match this distance. Now 1, 2, that's 4 over here. It must be 4. So this is how we can easily eliminate the other options. But what if there is one more like this somewhat? That's fine. You can easily eliminate that. Just extend it towards this one vertical distance. How much is this? 1, 2, 3, 4. And then this is over here directrix. It must be the same distance. 1, 2, 3, 4, yes. The, this is the correct graph. No other graph can match this. Same thing over here. It's 2 and 2. But draw a straight line here. And over here it's 1, 2, 1, 2. Only one graph will have uh, this matching. So that's why when focus and directrix is given, it's very easy. You can directly do it from the options. If you want, you can use the formulas for focus. You can substitute like what we did previously and get the correct answer. But here the options are given, do this easy method and you'll get the answer easily. Now here when directrix and the uh, vertex is given, we did it a while ago, the first type of problems, please do the same and then you can easily find it out. So if you can do one more thing, you can find the focus from this and then check it out. Where is the focus and then you can easily figure out the graph. So this is how we can easily solve these problems. Please try all of them by yourselves. Try to use the easiest method possible because options will be given and easily get the answers. If you're finding my videos helpful, please do share it among your friends and please do subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video.